In a recent Gallup poll, 51% of U.S. citizens said they were worried that they or their families could be victims of terrorism. CBS 4's Dan Joseph has more in this week's Say What. Would you support the U.S. instituting a temporary immigration ban on people from all countries with a known tie to terrorism and why? Of course I would. I think it's entirely too easy to get here and uh, with no screening being done, we don't know who's coming in. I think everybody is entitled to coming into this country. After all, this country was founded um, with immigrants in mind. We need to be addressing the security of our country and our people. Would you support a temporary ban on all Muslim immigration into the U.S. and why? No, I don't think that's necessary. Not all Muslim. I don't think we should pick out one group. We are a uh, a country of freedom of religion. I think it would be unconstitutional for us to do that. If there's no proper vetting uh, mechanism in place for us to dictate who is safe to allow entry and who is not, we in turn once again have to look out for American citizens and our country. Is the threat of terrorism inside the U.S. greater, less, or about the same as it was four years ago and why? Oh, it's greater. I think it is greater and more so because we have a a candidate that has a rhetoric fueling the terrorism or the mindsets of many people, even homegrown people. There's been a lot of terrorist acts, more than we have seen in the past, on an international level, which in turn increases our threats here in the United States. With this week's edition of Say What, I'm Dan Joseph for CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.